How's it going everybody? My name is JC Gaming and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now this is a game that I've been waiting for for a very long time because honestly, I just love how Rockstar does an amazing job on designing and creating their stories, honestly. Their games, everything about it is just perfect. I mean, look at Grand Theft Auto V. Amazing work there. So I mean, we played the first Red Dead Redemption. Well, I did a long time ago and I loved it. I loved the ending. It was insane. I was like, wow. So hopefully this delivers as well. So, yeah, I mean, without further ado, let's just get right into it. And also, I'll promise two things. One, well, more one thing specifically, but if there's any dialogue going on, I'll stay shot, right? Just shot. It can be in-game or a or cutscene. And also, as well, in the cutscenes, I'll get rid of my face cam. That way, you guys can see the full cinematic, like, experience without my face covering up, you know, and ruining the moment. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so here we go. All right, so what is this? We got some images of the West, or maybe just them trying to like advertise how well the game looks. I mean, I'm honestly more excited for the Outworld, you know, the what every Grand Theft Auto, well, not Grand Theft Auto, but what every Rockstar game does best is showing us every little detail of that specific world, you know, rocks falling some certain way, animals doing some things. You know, basically everyone has a thing, you know, everyone does something in this game. Every little detail goes into designing this game, or any Rockstar game, so... I mean, yeah, that's, that's what I want to uncover, you know. <laughs> so if I, get, if I get a little sidetracked during the gameplay, just bear with me. I just want to experience everything that you guys might want to experience. By 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. Oh, sweet. <clears throat> America was becoming a land of laws. <laughs> I mean, of course. Where would we be without laws? Even the West had mostly been tamed. So basically what I gather from the trailer is that we're in a gang, but we're not too evil of a gang. We still have morals. They want to do something about this, you know, crazy extinction. A few gangs still roam, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. So that's where I believe that, you know, we're going to be in a gang that basically is going to be trying to find a way to survive. I mean, again, they look like they have morals. But there are better going to be choices where we have to become the bad guy. Alright. So that's what I'm excited about. And supposedly Rockstar did some other things in this game that, you know, might be kind of like more entertaining. Red Dead Redemption 2. So here we go. I'm excited to bring you guys this gameplay, alright? I'm going to keep it as professional as possible with the edits and bring you the most out of this game. So, yeah, let me just shut up and let you enjoy the cutscene that's coming up. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! All right, cool. So that's an introduction to the gang we're in. Looks, I don't know how to tell you about this, but it looks great so far. It looks really good. Loving it. I'm going to love every minute about this. Chapter 1, Coulter. So that's going to be a title. <laughs> Chapter 1, Coulter. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. 
Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. All right, sweet, so here we go. So as you can see, the level of detail and attention to this game is just amazing. Ain't sure what we're going to find just out here, wow. Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. <laughs> oh my god. Looks great, dude. Just great. Fantastic. Over this bridge here. So, I mean, again, we're in a gang, but we're just trying to survive. I mean, these guys don't look like they're having a good time right now. So, our goal is, I guess, to just basically try to survive. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get. Those people warm and fed. I see they have morals. We need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Hey, I think I see something up the path. All right, nice. Over here. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. The place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Damn. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. So yeah, guys, if I get a little bit messed up with the controls, it's because... Right, you know, Rockstar games have always weird controls. Hey, 
Have you seen John Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp back up the hill. Huddled around a fire waiting for daddy to put food on the table. Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Reminds me of uh, Trevor. Stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Pass it, you. Go on. Hey! <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I guess we're going into some confrontation or some begging. I don't know. I guess we need food, water, anything. Here. I don't many health. The level of intercourse improves how quickly your health can refill. Oh, cool. Hey, Sean. There's some party going on there. Talk. We don't want to scare these folks. Dude, how can you just like go outside with this, these clothes, man? I'll be freezing my ass off. I'm sorry. Like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. <laughs> Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. All right. I don't know about this man. It looks a little suspicious. Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. <laughs> Billy. Hello. Oh, well. Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur, on the Arthur, we got a problem. What the hell? <laughs> folks, there's a corpse right here. <sighs> I, I just Arthur, some there's a body in the wagon. God damn. You just keep your eyes on Dutch. I think you. Ah, just like Grand Theft Auto V. Out, buddy. No way. Now, friend, I ain't asking. For much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. It's goddamn Dutch Vanderlyn, you morons. Comb is gonna sit. Yeah, look at him. I just figured just shoot. Oh, my aim is off. Sorry about that, guys. Ain't got, ain't got to improve here. Window, where? Damn. There? Wonder if I can get him. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Come on, dude, I should get him. That guy's not running away from me. I'm sorry. Yeah, hey, dude, I'm not letting him go away. Micah, go 
I'll bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. All right, I guess we got that. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. <laughs> whiskey. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. <laughs> Dude, this game is so good. Everything you can check out. That's amazing. What is this? Classic what? Crackers? Uh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Is that true, I guess? Alright. So there's cabin. Let's see what we got here. Take that. Take this. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, alright. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. <laughs> Nearly as big as the one on yours. One cold and dead. It's about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Anything in here? No, nothing here. Alright. Just gotta check everything out, guys, before I say okay, we're done. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, medicine? Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack cool. down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. Oh, we can't take that? Really want us to split up. What's up here? Wait, hold up. I saw something there. Hey, mind if I check that out, buddy? Sorry. I'm going to start packing the horses. You yeah. keep looking. What's in here? What is that? Oh, I found money! <laughs> so happy. <laughs> what is this? Horses car? Premium cigarettes. Oh, I guess we can sell those, right? That is cool. <laughs> I found money. <laughs> Alright, let's go upstairs. What's up here? What have we got up here? Oh, we got, what is it? Cakes? We got classic oh, cakes. Six times per over, all right. Cool, we found some revolver money, uh, ammo. Dude, I am liking this so far. I am really liking this. Oh, I didn't even see that. What the hell is that? Can I go up there? I don't think so. Nah, I can't. All right, I guess we're done here, unless I miss something. Nah, I guess we're done, guys. So let's get out of here. I want to continue the story. <clears throat> Keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. See what we missed. Sure. What in here? Alright, yeah, I would just take on my gun. Oh shit. <laughs> Bastard shot my cousin. Well, he's starving. I'm gonna break your neck. I so feel weird that, like, I feel weird that circles the, the tag button. This guy just me. Oh, oh, did he now? Shaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? <sighs> With the others at an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> this has got to beat you up more. Well, Oof. It looks like you have this one. Oof. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much that's it. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Pick up, please. Thank you. I'm gonna pick this up. Howdy, cowboy. All right, buddy. I 
boy. That is so cool, man. It really does remind you of the first Red Dead. At least he got some of the old classic thing bags. Come on, buddy. I want to get out of here. God, I love the intro. So good. So good. He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. He really does hate these people. Until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. We weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting a train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. All right. Alright, so yeah guys, like I said, that was amazing. Alright, here we go. Again, I'm gonna go. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, 
He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks... Alright, finally, here we go. So yeah guys, like I was saying, what's your opinion of the game so far? Are you liking it? Are you guys hating it? Or, you know, it's up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section below. See, they continue up that way. Me, I'm loving the game so far, honestly. It's just, it's amazing. And I can't wait to explore. You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Can't wait to explore the West. Like, honestly, that's my goal. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. <laughs> so basically something happened. Big ravine here. And we're recovering from a boat. Change camera distance. Dutch killed a girl <laughs> in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him though. So I guess we're just trying to run for our lives from the law. The or, I mean, if anything, a gang war. You know, if they get, I'm guessing if we get caught by those gang war, we're not gonna live. Shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. <laughs> See, that's why I don't play first person. Oops. <laughs> All right, sorry about that, guys. I got a little carried away with the first person view. Bad way. I'm taking it seriously. Bad situation. That ain't like him, bro. Man, what a fail. That's horrible. Tracks go left, down here. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Cinematic camera. Bad business, all right. And snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. This is such a great way for making like a mini movie on the Grand on I keep saying Grand Theft on Red Dead because I figure that like um Rockstar actually sees like the creators of YouTube trying to like make a movie, but they figured hey they're doing such a great job with these why not give him like a bit of a but bit of an edge. It's amazing, honestly. You know the things I can do with these kind of cinematic shots? Ooh. The ideas. Watch yourself. It's not very wide here. Yeah, I know. I learned my lesson from the first time. Trust me. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> All right. Horses are getting tired. Yeah. A lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there. Come on, come on man. Hey, look. 
Over there. You see that? Yeah, what the hell is that? Damn. That horse when we left block. Poor horse, dude. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on. Up there. You know, aren't the horses cold, you know? That's really cold. I guess, unless they're like unless they're like resistance to cold is extreme. Come on, buddy. It's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. To walk from here. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? What do you do this again? Oh, you hold that one. Alright. Down this way. I mean, just dude. I mean, they could have done a bit more, but not really. But I mean, they did a great job here. Look at this. <laughs> Nothing but snow, man. I mean, where are they, though? That's my question. For it to be so snowy. You sure about this? <laughs> it's coming from this way. Okay. Watch out here. In the end of that, we're high up here. You're telling me. <laughs> Yo, facts. Look at that thing. Someone has a play in the lower left corner, the outer bar. They please when you run, jump, or climb the level of the inner core and face how quickly you're My knees. Slippery, be careful. Watch your head here. Okay. Good now. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Here, come on. Gap here. What else? Boots? Anything else? Oh, I this. That sounds closer now. Come on. Oh, I thought I fell off, dude. I got nervous. Not gonna lie. I'm like, no. John! Oh my God, dude. Can you? Thank you. Yeah, I wonder why, dude. You just walk a little faster, please. Let's keep moving then. Come on. Dude, just look at the textures. Jesus Christ, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. John! John, can you hear me? John! John! Scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You call that a scratch? Jesus. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good neither. <clears throat> Freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. <laughs> well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. <laughs> See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. <laughs> you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. That's a cool cool little um action sequence there. Uh oh. Whoops. Perfect. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go! Draw them off. Alright. 
John, come on. Come on, then, buddies. Oh, I missed, man. Damn it. Hello, buddy. Dude, I'm not doing good so far. Yeah, not doing so good, too, man. That was horrible. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'll eat these. Okay, let's get going before any more of these people to show up. Let's get out of here, then. I just don't want to die again. Jesus Christ, man, that's the, that wasn't easy. It's the reload that gets me a little off, you know? It's like, because it takes a while to reload it. Obviously, though, like, realistically, you're not going to be like, tick, tick, you know? <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. All right, then. I'm waiting for you. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> you know, fella? Got bit by a dog. Died. An hour later. Yeah, I mean, I wonder why. Gonna die. Not yet. <laughs> All right. So I mean, so far, I'm loving this. Four of them. Oh man. Get oh, that's so hard to aim. Uh oh. <laughs> you say we. Ooh, there we go. My aim is better now. I don't aim assist. <laughs> don't think so. Jesus. Right. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Let's get you the objective right now. Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. <laughs> yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. All right, come on. All right, that was a good second mission. I like that. So everything, like honestly, like again, like GTA 5, and uh, like even animals attack you, which is cool. We get some help here. We get some help. I need some help here! Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! There we go. There we go. Ay, ah, careful, idiotas! It's his leg! <laughs> Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> Alright, cool. So, <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, we've we been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Dude, just look at the detail. Look at that, look at that. Oof. So what now, Dutch? Alright, what can I get here? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. Storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. Mm -hmm. I guess. You 
sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we're ready to get and go back to that water. All right. So where do we go next? I'm going to pee this time. Let's see. I'm gonna choose P. What is this all about? <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun. And we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. <laughs> All right, we're going hunting. <laughs> All right, let's go. Then. Can't wait to start this. Careful. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. I ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. I love the cinematic views, it's really good. Like, really, really good. Just loving it. It makes you feel like you're actually in the story. Uncovered here. Let's look down this way. 
So what are we going for? Rabbits, fish? Down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. That's interesting. I actually like that. <laughs> Stay quiet. Go through branches. <laughs> Stop here a second. I see something. Deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. All right. Let's go. Oh, cool. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. Yo, watch me miss you. I suck when it comes to pressure. Like, I'll be going like this. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so where'd he go? You see the tracks? I don't think so. Maybe not. Focus. You can use equalize. Press L3 and... What? That's crazy. That's cool. Try to stay low. That is cool. <laughs> it's easy in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. That is cool. Anyway, you gotta focus on track. Focus on track. Don't run. I'm oh, sorry. You just gotta go up there slowly but surely. It has to be a deer. I mean, a deer can feed you for a long time. I don't know about six people though. Should be enough, right? We're almost there, right? Why is it red though? What is that? That is not a deer, dude. There they are. Oh yeah, that are is a deer. Ready with that bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick yeah. and clean. Yeah, dude, uh... The further... It's too much. <sighs> Quick. Before they move. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> What's another deer? I tried to answer. <laughs> My head from here. <laughs> Too far. Pal quality is due to the average or poor kills. I mean, this one was clean. Dude, that's actually, this is pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. Crush. Oh man, this sucks. <laughs> Can I mind the cold in my feet, man? I scared it off. What the hell did that was? Freaking annoying. It said call them to make them come closer. Assholes. All right. Here, dear, dear, dear. I got something for you. Oh! I'm not gonna be able to hit the neck. I got tired. You get tired? That's crazy. Oh, I'm so screwed. Nah. Oh. Arthur, we need this meat. I know. I'm trying to, but my guy's out of energy. Uh. All right. So holding the arrow makes you lose energy. That's great. Ooh, there's a bunch. Alright, alright. This is cool. Okay, this is good. This is good. 
I got them close by. I just gotta be careful and I really, you know, distract them. Can I have one from here? No, it's too far. It's too far. Alright, this is fun. I, I like this. This is pretty fun. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. This is really fun. Alright. There's three of them. Alright. I have to go for one. That's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. That was fun. Your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Awesome. Here we go, little guy. Come on. <laughs> this is so cool. I am loving this. <laughs> Carrying a deer, hunting in, in freaking Red Dead. How much more fun can I get? Come over here, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's get. Yep. To two deer should plant should feed them plenty, dude. Shall we just head back? Please. Fine. Really? I might do that for the gang. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. No, I miss. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Ah, see, we are still always. I mean, but we're not really the bad guys. He's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwalk. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Mm. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. Uh, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Combe, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out! Damn. Ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. Facts. Got enough here. No need to push our luck. You I'm sorry, buddy. Hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Dude, can I just? Sorry, buddy, but I'm going for the hunt. To get this bear, yeah, I'm gonna kill it. That's a bad idea. Have you seen the size of it? I mean, we're in a horse and stuff. Yo, should I, guys? <laughs> Dude, I really want to kill it so bad. And off the trail. 
I really, really want to kill it. Dude, come on, shotgun man, come on. I really want to kill it. Come on then. Trying to kill it. Get the high ground. No, don't fall. Yeehee! Oh, well, I'm screwed, aren't I? Wow, that was a quick one. All right, I just wanted to test that out, guys. I'm so sorry if I if I ruined the um the moment for you guys, but I wanted to see because I know I know 90% of you guys would have been like, all right, let's give it a shot. Bah! All right, now she really continues the story. I'm so sorry about that. Arthur, you awake back there? Yeah, just thank you. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. And I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Whoa. That's a while. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Right? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. 20 years, that's insane. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's alright. He'll do for now. <laughs> Treat him like materialistic things. Let me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they all make it. Thanks. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Same. Dude, that, Food back, boys. that was fun. I'm not gonna lie, that was really fun. I would just wish I could have killed the bear, yo. If I would have done that, would be amazing. Get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Here you go, buddy. Well, well, well. <clears throat> what a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. He loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Ooh. Let's see how this looks. Ooh. 
Oh, they show you everything! Yo, that's amazing! Yo, okay. Rockstar, good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <coughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm going to leave you here for the first part. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the first video. I mean, again, I'm cutting some things that don't need to be there. You know, keeping my face came out of the picture when, you know, it needs to be serious so you guys can focus on the picture itself. So if you guys like this, please like, comment, subscribe, and I promise I'll bring you more of these guys as fast as I humanly can. I might lose some sleep on this, but who cares, all right? This is JC Gaming signing off, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Uh, I don't want to